We will show you how to calibrate a scale with A12 indicator. This is the A12 indicator. And uh, the scale base could be a bench scale like this, 440 pounds for this one, and also 1100 pounds with 2 by 3, approximately, approximately 2 by 3 size platform, and also a floor scale, 4 by 4 or 5 by 5. They, can, they all can use um, A12 indicator. And also we need a calibration weight. For example, we have here is 25 kg. Um, please note that this indicator only can be calibrated with kg calibration weight. It doesn't work with pound for the calibration. Though the scale can show pound after the calibration, that's another issue. Now we can show you how to calibrate a scale. First of all, disconnect the cable from the indicator and check the back of the indicator and you will find a white seal on the back. To calibrate a scale, we need to take out the seal like this. Be careful about the sharp wire. And use a flat head screwdriver to remove this screw. And uh, remove the plastic cover. And you will see a little button under the plastic cover. This is the calibration confirmation key. We're going to use it after the calibration. Okay, let's turn on the indicator on the back. So, zero means off, one means on. Alright, now we hook up the base with the indicator. Let me show you a little quick on the back. Here is the connection. Use a screwdriver to tighten the screws just in case. Okay, now to check this, if the scale is working, you can turn on the scale first, see if it shows zero. It doesn't have to be accurate, but it has to show zero, not ERR message. If there is an ERR message, you cannot solve the problem by calibration. So it has to show zero, and also you can touch the platform, it should give you some reading. Maybe it's not accurate but after calibration it will be. Okay, now this indicator in the scale base is working. Then we can start the calibration. First of all, turn off the scale using the soft button. Second step, hold the kg pound key. Hold it, don't release. And then turn the scale on. And it will count up until nine. When you see the nines, you can release the button. It can give you the parameters to choose. D is means division. So uh, for this particular scale, let's just choose D5. Press the pound key to confirm and go to next parameter. P means decimal. So in this case, this is one decimal. But for this base, we're going to change it to two. So, by changing the parameter, we need to press the tier key. See, now we have two decimals. You can press again, have a three bit decimal. When you miss the correct one, you can start it over. Zero decimal, one decimal, two decimals. When you're done, press the pound key. When you see full, which means the capacity of the scale you want you can press the tier key to change the value. In this case, we have, actually we choose the two decimals, so the last two digits will be the decimals. So right now, we have 200 kg, which means 200.00 kg. 
which is good. All right. If you want to change the value, you can move the indicator, the little indication, by pressing the tear key. You can see it's moving right now. And we can only change the value of the digits the indication is pointing to. For example, right here, it's pointing to 2. Then we can press the 0 key to change the value. You can see the value is changing. But we still need 2. After you're done, press the pound key. Now it shows no load. No load means you tell the scale which is the empty platform. So, which means there's no load on the platform. Under no load, you need to see a little indication right above stable. That means it got the signal from the base. When you see the scale, make sure there's nothing on the platform. Wait like uh, three seconds, then you can press the pound key to confirm. Now it gives you add load. Add load means you need to input the value of the calibration weight. In this case, we have 25 kg. To change the value, you can press the tear key, see all the zeros, then move the tear key to make it, in this case, it's 25 kg. Remember, we have uh, two digits from a right to left, so we need to make it 002500. To change values, first we need to move the little triangle to digits we want to change value. Then press the zero key to change the value. Change this to be 5. Remember, everything here is under kg, no pounds. Now we can put the calibration weight on the center of the platform. And ch still check the stable sign. If it's on, that's good. If there's no sign, there's some communication problems. When it's done, press the pound key. Then it gives you end. End means calibration is ready, but the indicator will not remember all the chances we give to him until you press the little button on the back, which is the confirmation key. Once you press it, it gives you the weight of the actual weight on the platform. You can use the screwdriver to press the button because it's hiding very deep. And you can also use the screw we just removed to press the button. Now the calibration is completed. Then we can check if the scale is accurate. We remove the weight, he has to go back to zero. And you put the calibration weight on it. It shows 25 kg, which means the scale is accurate. Calibration is completed.